So last year in my art class, I, um, I borrowed these tools, scratch board tools, from my teacher, and I told her I'd give them back. And then it's been about a year, and I still haven't given them back, so I thought I might as well do this and then um, be able to give them back before I graduate. So um, this is scratch board. I really like doing scratch board. It's a little bit difficult because you can't, like, erase anything. You know, like, every single mark you make is there no matter what. Um, but I think that kind of adds to the fun of it. So the first thing you do is you take an image that you want to put on the scratch board and you go over it in pencil outline um, and then it leaves a very very faint outline of whatever you want to draw on the scratch board um, and then you just go over it and add your highlights and stuff. Um, yeah. So what scratch board is, it's, it's a white sheet, it's, what is scratch board? Let me google it real quick. Ah. So apparently, this scratch board is a thin layer of white china clay, thank you Google, um, and you scrape off a layer of black ink on the top to reveal the white underneath. Um, I really like it because, you know, when you draw with pencil or pen, where you draw, it's darker than the rest of the piece of paper, but for this, you you know, draw and you reveal the highlights instead of the shadows, which I think is cool. I've seen some really realistic scratch board pieces. They're pretty cool. And I thought since it's kind of just a black and white picture to do something a little, I don't know, creepier. I don't draw bugs very often, so. Um, I wanted to do something a little bit more with the outline of it um, because it wasn't even all over the picture, but I didn't want to make it just like a solid thick outline. So I added this kind of like spider web kind of looking outline. I don't know. I think it turned out really cool and creepy. It's not even Halloween. It's like the opposite time of year. It's spring right now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh god. And I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little congested. Um, I have allergies right now. Do any of you guys get seasonal allergies? Because I absolutely hate spring because I always get so bad, such bad allergies. But something actually helps a lot more, and I'm sorry for any of my friends who I've told this to like a million times already, but local honey. Oh my lord, I swear by this. It like helps so much. I put it on toast every morning for breakfast, and then um, I also put it in tea, or I drizzle it over granola, or whatever. There's a million ways to use it, but it's just, it really helps, I feel like. I actually have my little cup of tea there, the bottom, bottom right. And I have a cup of tea with me right now, so. The other day, I actually um, met up with one of my friends who I haven't talked to in a while, and it's really great just like reconnecting with old friends. Um, we went rock climbing, and then after that, when our hands were like bleeding, we went to um, IHOP, and it was so much fun. Oh my god. If you have any friends that you haven't talked to in a while, I really recommend reconnecting with them and just seeing how they're doing, and I don't know. I should probably sign it, shouldn't I, somewhere? Yeah, I don't know. I had a lot of fun with this one. I just really enjoyed it just sitting down and I don't know. Art always helps me like clear my mind. So I really like it. And this is me just adding some details. Um, yeah, I think it turned out good. Um, what do you guys think? I haven't done sketchboard in a while, but here's like a close up shot of it. Um, the back of the white is kind of shiny, which I like. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.